Hello, I was thinking the last time I was in a school, um, I remember being sort of uh, very much aware that there were posters all the way around the school um, advising pupils to ask each other, how are you? Uh, now, in one sense, it sounds a, it sounds very uh, a very positive message, and um, and and I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't want to stop people communicating, but in another sense, it seems to be opening up um, a barrage of inappropriate um, inappropriateness. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes people have adopted a stiff upper lip. Sometimes people are bottling it up for good reason, and uh, and and this question. I, it may be invasive. You see, the thing really is that what we need to do is to, is, is to be empathetic to one another. Rather, what we're doing with, with, with these posters all the way around the school is replacing empathy with a slogan. And, and what, what is even more disturbing is that when somebody asks, how are you, and somebody else dis, decides to explain, uh, very often... Um, the person who's asked, who's asked the question doesn't listen and has moved on. You know, that's not right. Um, there are languages, I can think of many languages, where um, how are you is dropped into the middle of a sentence as a sort of pause filler. And again, people aren't really very interested in the answer. If we go back to a lot of the basic greetings that we use in everyday English, many of them have a religious origin. Uh, hello, of course, doesn't. Hello is simply a registering of surprise. Uh, it, it, it comes from uh, the invention of the telephone. And hello, what's going on here? Hello. Hello in the 19th century was a surprised expression. It wasn't a greeting. It becomes a greeting because of the telephone. OK, equally, has slipped into um, English. Uh, I, I, I've heard one person say, well, I've, I, I've heard quite a few uh, authorities claim that it comes from um, the American Greek immigrants uh, who, were, who, who, who were calling over to each other as they were constructing skyscrapers and saying, Hola, Kala! Um, okay. And the answer, of course, would be, ah, Hola, Kala! Uh, everyone sounding rather like Sarkis Ruvis uh, on, in, in the middle of one of his songs. He's, he had a song called Hola, Kala. Um, but... Uh, but there are other other expressions. Good morning, for example. Um, good morning. Yep, it does literally go back to an Anglo-Saxon uh, statement. Good morning, um, and you can find a parallel to that in modern Germany, of course. But uh, the actual the actual expression would have been "God give you a good morning," and you find an interesting example of that. Though it's all rather truncated. I find an interesting example of that in Romeo and Juliet uh, uh, in the first act in scene two when Romeo is talking to Capulet's servant and uh, he says, uh, God and good fellow. And the person replies, so good evening, good fellow. And the person replies, uh, God give God in, uh, which is God give you a good even. Um, and, uh, and that is that is the origin of the good evening. God give you a good morning. God give you a good afternoon. God give you a... And we've got it still in modern English, in its original form, with goodbye, which is God be with you. And we've also, we've also got endless amounts of, um, of, of, of religion in, 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 in the basic swear words and uh, that um, lexicon of abuse um, that is familiar to so many people. But uh, that's all for another day. For now, do uh, follow the channel and um, ring the bell, which I think is down there. Is it down? It's down there. Down there. Ring the bell. Have fun.